Thanks for staying with News 3. Two people are in custody right now after an hours-long standoff ended at a home in Milton. The Rock County Sheriff's Department says the man and woman surrendered peacefully. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw is live in our bureau at the Janesville Gazette with the latest. Jenna? Well, Susan and Eric, the sheriff says this is a situation that could have ended a lot worse, so he's grateful none of the officers or suspects were hurt. We thought we had somebody in there that was not going to cooperate. A domestic dispute at a home on County Highway M turned into an hours-long standoff Thursday that had deputies on high alert while also fighting high winds. We have to make sure that our deputies are warm. Um, you know, they have to be at their peak, you know, condition uh, to be able to react to whatever happens. A woman told deputies she was threatened with a gun inside the home and several shots were fired. Deputies surrounded the home and when they were unable to reach the man and woman inside, the Rock County SWAT team was called in. I'm very proud of our team and uh, the way that they conducted themselves. Uh, the way they had rotated in and out with the different officers. Just before 11, officials shut the gas off in the home, and not long after, 22 year old Ratchie Boyd surrendered. She has cooperated with our detectives. She admitted to being involved in an overnight armed robbery at a Janesville gas station and told officials the man inside the home had a gun and did not plan to surrender. You know, he was very dedicated to not going back to prison, and so, which put us, uh, Honestly, on edge. Deputies launched CS gas into the home, and around 1245, 27-year-old Eric Fenny finally came out peacefully. The sheriff's office is working with the Janesville Police Department to investigate the armed robbery that happened at a Janesville gas station early this morning. And officials have not yet said what charges the man and woman could be facing. Jenna Middaw in our Rock County Bureau. Jenna, thank you.